it appears that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles, who must seek his forgiveness. We will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king and before God, it's time I send this diable. Back to hell where it belongs! Life! Stand aside, Bishop! Your god does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn! For little mother! For my brother Ebels! I will purge you from this place! Out of my way, Bishop! I will kill you again! The Lord spared me! I am his wrath! My soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. Why is the fire moving so slowly? Fight as a team!
I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lizer. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flush of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Count Odo would have me kill Charles, so that he may take the throne. Would you kill a man for the crime of losing the battle for his soul? Not a moment ago he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Charles has dishonored all of his allies and his people. I will not swear an oath to spare him. This is folly, Evor. Killing Charles will not assure the safety of your people. If not, let it avenge all the Norse he has felt here in Francia. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. This is madness. What have you done, Charles? He slaughters his own servants. Madness. Two keyholes. I should look around. I always knew it. She is pure. I am the The servants did nothing wrong. Serve the king faithfully. He truly... Do not say it. He asks or we and will end up like...
come in, my king, please! Stay back! I will burn you! I know your spell! I have fire! I'm not him. I'm not the king. Gods. Another key. I should try these on the main hall door. Strange. A Christian holy book. No key inside. She's the angel, the, the saint, the one who shimmers with the Lord's light. And so they were right about me. All of them were right. I know. We are what they say. It has always been us. Even as they seared me, I feigned to be purged of all demons. <laughs> But I knew, no amount of burning would rid me of you. And burn me they did. Below this scarred flesh, you were still there. You are still here. You have always been here. I embrace you, demon. Louder. We are the demon. We are... I am not the only demon who lurks in these chambers. Maybe he will rise from the dead again. for Count Odo, who will rule this kingdom when you are dead. I will crush his people in an iron press for this!
done to you? What have I done to you? It did not have to be this way. His death is payment for the many he has killed, and a mercy for those he was yet to. Speak not of mercy while his blood is still warm. What you have done was driven by selfishness and anger, not mercy. Charles was a threat to my clan. He was mad beyond reason. And should your clan be a threat to one of your neighbors, I hope God grants them the wisdom you lack. Now leave us. Something is happening. Just know, Charles will never honor a bond with you northerners. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps. How dare you! Eivor! Finally, we can talk sense. What of Richardis? Did you encounter Charles? Richardis yet lives. Charles does not. And when Francia's nobles back me to be their next king, you can count on a pack of friendship between us, Eivor the Wise. That makes today a day for celebration! It has been curious to know you, Eivor. You are as enigmatic as any northerner I have met. Here's hoping there are more like you. I must go now and attend the throne. I wish you a safe journey back to England. Your greatest challenges lie before you, Count Odo. I hope you have the strength. As do I. Is it wise to put our trust in him? The future is a mystery. Whether Odo will even attain his ambition is unclear. Then how am I to proceed? I cannot tell you that. You are the leader of your people now. Your instinct will determine their future. I have much to consider. 
Stay true to your honor and bring glory to your people. If you do that, you cannot fail. I will send word should the Franks grow an appetite for England again. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more yarl like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I've been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Tug. You must have heard about Charles. We have eyes and ears everywhere. You did the right thing, Ivor. Frankia will have a better king. One you might even be inclined to follow. That remains to be seen. For now, loyalists rise to resist the change. We will continue our missions. How can I help? Time we made improvements. That's all for now. So, what will it? I will be well. They also Well, Matt, what do you need? I must be on my way now. A pleasure. I 
Armaste. Dios te guarda. Lord Chris, come straight out. You will get me in, was? I'll see you later. Car prudence for ten viages.
Ala Bogles for this. How can I help? Back to England? To England. Off we go then. Be many winters before Frankish troops land on the English shore. My spies say Paris fell. It did, but the situation is thornier than that. In what way? I killed the mad king, Charles the Fat. Odo, the Count of Paris, means to take the throne. Is that good for us? Time will tell. But Odo is an honorable man, and he has a kingdom to rebuild. That is comforting. We also have a hardy ally in Toka Sinrik's daughter. She is young. And a quick study. <laughs> She'll do right by us. Perhaps they need not know the danger we face. We came home with bounty, glory, and some Frankish foods. I can ask the raiders to keep their tails to that. They will say everything, and then some. <laughs> Afraid so. <laughs> Strength comes to weathered halls. Now I can rest. 